you uh, as you know i made a separate video uh, related to esp now protocol which is come from espressive uh, company which uh, they have uh, their esp8266 node mcu and i used esp now protocol to control uh, led sorry to control uh, remote and send the data temperature and the humidity from controller to this old screen which is connected to slave 2 which is re which will be like like as a receiver for uh, signaling and also data for uh, temperature and humidity uh, as you know in the previous video about esp now i already make uh, connection only between controller and slave but now with this new version or this new series we are going to talk about three node mcu how can we transfer or pass the data from controller to slave one and from slave one going to slave two which is the receiver for the data and uh, as you know this protocol esp now it's a good protocol very useful and also easy to use which is um, related to wi-fi connection but they doesn't need to connect to connect with wi-fi router it's only peer-to-peer -peer connection so in this video we are going to talk about the combo mode which is all these three esp is uh, will be on the combo mode configuration uh, not slave not controller uh, it will be in the combo mode uh, and uh, you will see in the code now how we program it uh, as you know or as you see here uh, i used the ht11 sensor to read temperature and humidity and there is here is a bosch button to control the remote relay and if i pressed here now the relay is trigger and connect and disconnect and we can see here also it's clear the temperature and the humidity it's reading from if i blow now the temperature will you see the humidity is now 42 45 so the data is this paper is gone okay now uh, just you see here again you can hear can see also if I disconnect my slave one just to test if the football is working now I disconnect my slave one now slave one is not working anymore and the data here as you see will not at work as you see here no more okay now I will reconnect again okay now let's try you see so that means the data is transferring from controller to slave one and from slave one to slave two so the slave one only will be like the carrier of the data or uh, the carrier of the signaling or the data from controller which is directed to slave two so what is the benefit of this project sometimes because if you are uh, wants to monitor for example a temperature or a humidity or you want to control a light uh, from distance and inside like a big flat sometimes the, because i tested actually the coverage inside the cubic area uh, like in the offices or home uh, that maybe will not exceed 50 meters something like this or 60 meters so if you need more or you want to extend the distance you can use another slave another mcu to be like a slave to extend the distance for example if the range is 50 meters and if you add one more slave it will exceed double about 100 meter or if it's 100 will be 200 and also you can triple the distance with adding one more you know the mcu to be like a next hub between this and you can slave two then slave three like this so you can triple the distance you can also make more than to make the distance to take or to extend the distance more it's up to you it depends on your project or you can connect controller with like star shape or star connection between many slave so this is only the demonstration for 
what I did. So let's go to coding and see how we did it. 